That is a a doubled up line just for Pokemon. Only for Pokemon. Okay, so and Pokemon only. Okay, all right. All right. Recording Inception. Yo. <laughs> Yo, don't donkey me oh gosh, in the infinite crystal forest. Ruin with me, man. I don't know. I don't even know where to go. Slowly. Oh, is that the spot spot? Oh, that's so cool. It's like uh, the fortress of solitude. You're not supposed to. That's what the thing said. <laughs> I know, I was pretty sure it was supposed to. Oh my god, that was so crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad, guys. I almost got you. I've got two video recordings going. Wow. It's fucking crazy. That is literally fucking crazy. <laughs> That's okay. Gross. <laughs> no, I might try not to do it, but... <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, are we going the wrong way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, go back. Yeah, They're telling us to go back. Let <laughs> them go first. They put all these corners in here, like, and then they're like, no, go that way. I was like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah, it's an endless crystal maze. I'm, I'm, I don't know how they keep this floor so shiny without toe prints and stuff. I know. All right, ready? What? Go. That way. All right, yeah. Sure. Oh, shit. You would definitely have a seizure in here. That's fucking crazy. I guess I should get it with both cameras. Look at it, it's so crazy looking. <laughs> Look at all the people underneath us. People might be able to see my bombs. Your bombs. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, just, I'm overthinking it. I don't actually know how you leave. Yeah, there's like fish and there's like leaves over here. Or maybe there's just really tiny fish. No, I think people just dropped a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. I thought they were supposed to react to you a bit. My, my shit's still not hold up quite enough. I mean, it's, it's enough, but like, it's smashing into each other. Oh, you've got like, sakura blossoms on you and stuff. Look at that. Hold on, turn your background. Yeah, wait, you should pose up with that. That looks cool. Yeah, uh, pose up. Uh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. Please, nah. <laughs> please, 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 please. <laughs> wait, what direction is it? Or just like lean back a little bit so they catch you. Because it was, uh, yeah, see? Yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. The fish going right over you. That looks crazy. And the leaves. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, that looks cool though. I'm getting a million pictures. Here, I'm gonna do one night mode one. I got a video so of it. You look like tie dye. This is the night mode run, but oh, that is sick. you look a little goofy. But it's like you had to do that. There was no way you. <laughs> Me too. Okay, how do I? Uh... It's working. Oh yeah, here. Whoa, man! Now I should have worn the, the white shirt I was wearing earlier. You look crazy. Yeah. Did it work out well? That's so good. I love that. Let me see uh, your shot. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. Oh, I'm just recording a video. But you can see uh, it later. Let me, let me see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> let me rewind it real quick. That works. One doing video, one doing photo. Yeah, let's do another one. Uh, what's my pose? I don't know how to do this. I have to lean back, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, they run from you. They're running away. But the the, right, the flowers won't. There's a poster over here. I'm just gonna put my shadow on it. I gotta get my shadow on it. This should be good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. It's like falling apart. That's so cool looking. That looks so neat. Thank you. 
そうですよ
They said don't come to Japan in the summer, and trust me, it is so fucking hot, I can't handle it. What up, y'all? It is my last full day in Japan, and I've tried not to, like, be too touristy or record too many videos where I'd be annoying, <laughs> so. Um, but it's pretty early, so hopefully I'm not bugging too many people. I think today I'm gonna go to Yokohama. Um, there's, like, I think it's the last day they're doing like a Pokemon, uh, Pokemon art card art exhibit, so it's about an hour by a train, so I'm gonna go do that. I got like a ton of drinks too, and the train's about an hour. I think I can cut the train time down to like 40 minutes, but that would require transfer, and I just don't want to deal with it, so I'm just gonna sit on the same train for an hour uh, to get to Yokohama. Um, the cool thing is there's another Pokemon Center there, and. Uh, I'm always on the on the hunt for specific Pokemon plushies for me and my friends, so gotta keep my eyes peeled. Gotta keep those eyes open. I made it to Yokohama. I'm here a little early. Um, most things don't open till like 10 or 11, and it's like, a little bit after 9.30. It's pretty nice here though. It's a different vibe. I really like this station, it looks cool. A lot of glass, so. But yeah, nice little day trip. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I gotta kill some time. See, the time limit at 10 is so strict. There's people lining up to get into this mall. I ran to the nearby 7-Eleven just to get some water and snack. And they had a freaking Gundam Ichiban Kuji, which is like kind of like a lottery thing. And I won a whole model kit. I got the D prize. The only thing that sucks is it takes up all the room in my backpack. So, but it was cool. I, was, I got an exclusive model kit. It was dope. Also, this art installation for this hotel or whatever it is is pretty cool. This is my aesthetic. You want to park, have uh, some water and snack. Still waiting for stuff to open, but I don't know if you can see how much space that takes up in this little backpack I got. It's like a fold up backpack because I'm tired of having giant bags on the train, but I was planning to put some like Pokemon plush or something in there, but now it's like 80% full with a Gundam model kit. I'm not complaining, except I am. I didn't expect to win, I guess. But yeah, I'm still waiting for stuff to open and then I'll mosey back towards, because uh, the Pokemon Center is right outside the station. But I kind of like it here. Yokohama is a little bit more low key, less, uh, I don't know what the word is, hectic. <laughs> this shit is so good, but it cracks me up because it says spicy. It's like not spicy at all. I don't know if they just mean it has spices, but. I don't know, but it's so good. I love Japanese beef jerky, especially 7-Eleven premium. It's so good. I was just reading the Google reviews for the Pokemon Center I'm about to head to, and I realized it's Saturday, and last Saturday when I like basically got here, it was a freaking shit show at the other Pokemon Center in uh, Ikebukuro, so I'm a little worried. Um, I saw one review mention that there was like tickets and that you would have to come at a specific time. Nah, yeah, sucks. But I'm really sweet here to see the Pokemon uh, uh, Pokemon card art exhibit that's like outdoors. It's like a, a walking art thing. Um, so I'll have to, you know, my priority is that and less so going to yet another Pokemon Center since I've been to like two or three already. Mostly looking for specific plushes, but we'll see. I'm just gonna rock up and see what happens, but oh well. <laughs> Might have been a bad day to come. I'm so sweaty. To be honest, even though it's only like 83, 84 degrees, it's so humid. I'm sweating so bad. Just gotta find this Pokemon Center. Blah, I'm dying. You need a ticket, but I think I'm in line for the ticket, so hopefully everything's cool. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Just when I thought I got out clean, I went into this shop called Suragaya. It's 
specialty store and I had tons of games that I've been looking for. Super cheap. I spent like 80 in yen, probably closer to like 50, but still like I'm gonna go back in later because I'm still looking for a specific game. They couldn't help me find it because they're really busy, but oh fuck, Yokohama, you're the best. I've been looking for this guy forever. I can't believe they had him. Ah! I'm just getting these guys and I'm getting out because it's crazy busy in here. Crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I got like a little emotional that I actually found this. I know it's so stupid, but I've been looking for him for a while and it's my favorite Pokemon, so I can't believe I got him at an actual Pokemon store. Like all the other ones in Tokyo did not have this guy, so I feel lucky, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I ended up spending over like a hundred bucks on video games. It was like the Suzu Yaya specialty store or something like that. And I still have not seen the Pokemon card walk. I have no idea where it is, even though I'm at apparently one of the buildings where they're doing it. And I'm hoping they didn't already take it down because it says till the 30th, and today's the 30th. Uh, now that I'm back outside, I'm so sweaty, but I'm gonna keep looking around for the Pokemon card art because that was the whole reason I came here, not to spend hundreds on games, <laughs> but it was good. I found a lot of good games. I asked the helpful Pokemon Center employee who was by the front door, and he told me it was on the 10th floor, so I'm not crazy. That was freaking adorable. There were so many good cards. And it's funny because I thought they were going to all be like from the original sets they were from, but it was a good mix. And obviously, like, they had the OG Charizard that everyone loves. Um, yeah, I was impressed. That was really fun. Just looking at all the cards in one place. I, I love that. I'm glad I found it. What a good day. Yokohama's the best. Let's check it out. I was just gonna head back, but I saw a book off, so now I'm headed to that. I'm so sweaty. I'm a hot, sweaty mess, but I'm gonna go try to see the new Ghibli movie because I love Ghibli. Obviously, I went to the Ghibli Museum on this trip, and it's been last night, so I'm gonna go try to see it. Hopefully, I can make it in time. Ugh, I'm dying. So I just went and saw the new Studio Ghibli movie. The Boy and the Heron, or as it's known in Japan, How Do You Live? Uh, and even though I couldn't understand most of it because it was in Japanese, I thought it was a really beautiful movie. A movie about acceptance and grief and, you know, family. I don't know, I had a lot of good, I had a lot of good themes and so, you know, even though I didn't really understand it, I feel like I got the message, so. It's my last night in Japan, I leave tomorrow, less than 24 hours. But I'm really glad I got to go see that movie. Um, yeah, Ghibli movies have always been really important to me ever since I was like three. Totoro is one of my favorite movies, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Went and saw it at Toho Cinemas. I bought a postcard as a souvenir. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna miss Japan. morning in Japan. I'm just gonna run into 7-Eleven, pull out a little bit of money, get some snacks for the flight, and probably hit the airport early. 
even though my flight's not till like five o'clock and it's like nine o'clock right now. I just, you know, I think everybody, when you're traveling international, you get a little paranoid about missing a flight. Uh, plus my luggage is really heavy, so the more time I have to get there, the better. It's been so long looking for a bathroom around here and you're gonna tell me there is one on this hidden path. What the frick? 